Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Today, I thought it was high in time that we do another Japanese food special. <laughs> Kit Kat edition from our new friends at Japanese Candy Ninja. I thought I'd get a bunch of crazy flavoured Japanese Kit Kats. So the Japanese are quite uh, mad with their varieties of Kit Kats, uh, do all sorts of crazy flavours. The uh, Kit Kats you get over here, they're, you know, usually get plain and dark chocolate and you know, maybe have one or two varieties in between. Yeah, it's quite bland compared to the Japanese where they go proper all out with their Kit Kats because they're Kit Kat maniacs or something. Sticker that they give you. Yeah. I don't know, suppose you can stick that in the back of your car and so you can scare away sweetie fiends or debt collectors or something, I don't know. Ah! Why are you running? So, uh, yeah, so I've got 20 of these, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go through it one by one, take a wee nibble of them, see what it's like, hopefully no vomit into a bucket, and uh, yeah. What's this? Oh, just noticed this in the bottom here, there's like a wee, I thought it was like a receipt or something, but it's like a wee pink crown or something. Oh wait, oh that's quite cool. This is like, uh, I think, like a Japanese paper crane. Hold on, let me move this garb to the side. Aye, I think it's like a wee Japanese paper crane. Oh, let's see if we can open this up without ripping it to shreds. Ah, oh, that's quite cool. Like a wee, a wee part of the Japanese culture. Um, I'm getting kind of heavy rain vibes looking at this. So yeah, let's just dive straight in with the first one, uh, which just looks like a regular plain old Kit Kat. Well, from over here, just looks like a regular plain Kit Kat. Um, oh, in the back of all these, they have the old um, gridded paper looking thing in the back where you can do your finances on. Have a break! Have a Kit Kat! Yes, we will. Uh, 20 of them, to be exact. Uh, I think I'm going to have a very sore tummy by the end of this. So, red Kit Kat. Let's just see what flavour this is. Guessing it's probably plain. And, yep, just looks like a regular Kit Kat. Seriously. Like. Yep. Just tastes like a Kit Kat. Or a Kit Kat, what we would call over here is classic. Next one, what's this? Oh, a disturbingly dark green looking wrapper. Oh, what's this? Could it be Shrek's decomposed jobby flavour or something? I don't know. Dark green. See what it says. Uh, oh, oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's very green and diseased looking. Uh, what is this? I'm going to take a fairly small nibble at this. What is that? Like some, some kind of boss nest or something? That's what it's like. Oh! Oh no no no! <laughs> no! <coughs> Abort! <coughs> oh my god. Oh, I think I'd rather eat Shrek's job even have this. Yeah, that is absolutely rank. Um, it just tastes like an old shoe that's been lying at the bottom of my swamp for five years or something. Oh, that is vile. Oh, no, 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 no. Away with you. Um, oh, gosh, I never green one. <laughs> oh, no. Could be the same text at the bottom. I'm not too sure. Let's just, let's just get this over with. Is it going to be another green one? Oh, no. You never know. Maybe end up be really good. Could be just deceiving me. All right. I'm going to take a really tiny bit of this if I can. Oh, please don't be the same as the last one. Let's see. Mmm. Mm -mm. mm -mm 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 -mm. What is that? It's like old soggy cardboard or something. I will say it tastes really similar to the dark green one, but our one was like at least four times the potency of this. So it's like the same flavour, whatever it is. And there's a thumbs up. I'm certainly not giving this one a thumbs up. Yeah, so it's a slightly weaker bit. No, 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 no. Oh, what have we got now? Oh, mint. Oh, you kind of go wrong with that. There's little mint leaves over there. If a polar bear holding up like the leaf from uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker or something, he's just gliding away. Uh, mint, come on. Anything to get rid of that taste from the previous ones. Let's see. Oh, come on. Anything to get rid of that horrible taste. Let's see. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's just a case of those last ones were that horrible compared to this, but this is really, really nice. Yeah, it's just like a dark chocolate mint flavoured Kit Kat. It tastes kind of, I don't know, 
kind of similar to your <laughs> your fav your favorite after 8 p.m. evening mint. <laughs> That's really nice. What have we got here? Oh gosh, I thought it was like a wasp's nest or something in a shop window. Um, oh here we go, Mont 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 Blanc. Ooh. Oh no, don't tell me it's gonna taste like uh, Mont Leblanc from Friends or something. <laughs> right, let's see what it says. Mont Blanc. Ooh, kind of creamy looking one here. Oh, looks like there's already a, been a spider in here if it's already bored a hole making a hoose out of this one. Let's see what it's like. Mont Blanc. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, oh, that is really nice. Mmm. I don't know, kind of really nice, kind of sweet, kind of creamy, vanilla -y flavor ish. Um, that's really nice. I'm gonna save the rest of that for later and get rid of the um, <laughs> the horrible green goblins of death. <laughs> All right, what have we got here? Um, oh, again, no name in this. Um, what is this like? White chocolate or something? Or something about these kind of these plain looking ones with the Japanese text in the front? It's really Starting to give me the fear. See what this is like. Is it going to be white chocolate? Uh, yes, it is. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's got uh, dots in it. Uh, no, I'm sure it's going to be nice. Um, tastes like pretty much nothing. <laughs> uh, no. Um, yeah, just kind of like white chocolate and bits of cookie crumble, maybe put through it. Just a wee bit like um, was it the kind of Hershey's uh, chocolate bar that you get? Um, it kind of looks a bit similar to this. Um, yeah, that's quite that's quite decent. Let's see what we have here. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is quite uh, interesting artwork for a Kit Kat. Maple. Oh, well, like maple leaf, maple syrup. Uh, no idea. Let's see what it is. Uh, another kind of white chocolate looking thing. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Hmm. Oh, okay. It's no nasty or anything. It's just got an extremely strong aromatic flavour. It's something. It's quite bitter tasting. Um, is that maple syrup? Yeah, quite smoky. Yeah, a wee bit taken aback uh, initially, but uh, once you kind of start getting used to it, it's, um, it's actually quite nice. Mmm, maple. Next one. What have we got here? Oh, some kind of ice cream dessert, maybe. It's actually got some English words here. Peach parfait. Ooh. Getting very posh. Yeah, not too keen in peach and peach flavoured things in general myself normally, but um, maybe quite nice. Oh, quite, uh, quite enough. Peachy. Yeah, let's take a wee bit of this off, see what it's like. Oh my god. Oh, mm. that is absolutely lovely. Oh my god. It is. It just tastes exactly like a peach parfait dessert. Um, Oh, this is probably my best one so far. And I don't even really like peach stuff, but this actually tastes like a really nice dessert. Actually, it's the first one. I'm going to go in for a second bite. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is really nice. Definitely my best one so far. And then we move on to what is this? Hippie flavored? <laughs> Simplify, man. Summer mango. Oh, gosh. Right, okay, I could be mistaken, but um, like the last one, I'm also keen on mango flavoured stuff, but I could be pleasantly surprised once again, because that was definitely the best one so far. It was that peach parfait one, summer mango. Let's see if lightning can strike twice. Again, similar to the last one, a kind of mango-ish. Uh, mango-ish. That sounds like a, like a language from Lord of the Rings or something. A kind of mango-y type colour. Let's see. Yeah, I... Mm. That's not too bad. Mm. I think it's really just a mango that I don't like. It's um, it's not really doing it for me. Um, yeah. Uh, also, I just found a weird random hair coming out of this one. So <laughs> it's just like an offended Japanese hair or something. <laughs> Hairy Japanese bastards! <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, yeah, not that great, but um, not too bad either. There's the next one here. Oh no, this looks nice. Cheesecake flavour. Oh, and if it's anything like that picture there, bring it on. Uh, this could be a new top contender, but we will see. Oh, very, very bright. It's almost like Casper the Friendly Ghost White. Uh, chocolate looking here. Let's see if this is Cheesecake Ahoy. Um, 
Mm. It pretty much tastes like nothing. <laughs> well, I'm disappointing. Um, yeah, that's really weird. I don't know if it's because the mango one I had before was like so strong, the flavour, it's just kind of cancelled out anything else that's going forward. But no, oh, not really much cheesecake, maybe an extremely light kind of flavour. You know, just slightly creamier white chocolate. You know, maybe like a slight hint of cheesecake, as I said, but it's not bad or anything like that there. It's still really nice, but average, which is a shame. What do you got here? Orange. Oh, and I don't like oranges. Or is it chocolate? Oh, it is. Chocolate orange. Yeah, so just, um, yeah, I suppose it'll just be like a Teddy's chocolate orange or something. Uh, yep, yeah, back to the dark chocolate. And if you, oh, got a big bit there. Yep. Yeah. Mmm. Okay. Oh, there's stuff in this. Is it the orange dots or something? Mmm. It's like when you bite into it, it's like wee fragments of um, kind of orange powder or something. It's like wee kind of orange things in it. Yeah, that's actually really, really nice. Right, what have we got here? Oh, what is this? Mysterious jello pudding or something. Just looks like, I don't know, perhaps some kind of pudding. Hopefully. I've got a bright one here. And yeah, let's see. Mmm. I'm a bit kind of... It's a bit bittery tasting at first, similar to that maple one that I had. Um, oh, yeah, it kind of turned, turned into a nice um, kind of vanilla, caramelly, white chocolate taste. Um, whatever that pudding is. Ah, that's quite half decent. Hmm, not too bad. May finish the rest of that off later. And um, what do we have here? Oh gosh, oh, I never want these plain wrapper ones. I'm always worried about these. Um, we have tree bark flavour. Um, I don't know. Uh, what is this? 31 something 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 exclamation mark uh yeah yeah hopefully it's, it's not actual tree flavor i'm sure it's no um <laughs> well, i hope though no. this flavor oh it's got kind of spotty clown shoes sure it kind of be too awful oh what is that yeah it's got more dots in it let's see what this is oh mm, 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 mm. Ah, that's really nice. <laughs> totally unexpected. Um, what flavour is that? It's really similar to the, just like their one with the kind of Hershey's cookies and cream thing. Really similar, but it's, like, it's got a distinctive taste screaming out that I can't even put my finger on. That's really nice. That's actually <laughs> surprisingly one of my favourite ones now. Mmm, good job trees. Um, oh, <laughs> literally cookies and cream. Yeah, this is probably going to taste almost identical to the last one, I bet you. Um... There's your non-branded Oreo type thing in the bottom right there, crumbling away. Cookies and cream, you can't go wrong with this, surely. Surely! Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Ugh, a bit more kind of zombified looking than I was expecting. <laughs> uh, yeah, it should be fine. Um... This one pretty much tastes the exact same as the last one. <laughs> I'm sure it's something different, but they taste really similar. Um, this one's just like like a zombie's leg hanging off or something. Um, ah, cookies and cream. Can I go ram it up? Now, what do we have for coffee? Ooh, what is this? Is this like coffee flavoured or something? Or it's like we um, hand-drawn illustrations of the leaves or coffee beans. A yeah, very beige looking packet. Yeah, I'm sure it's like coffee or something like that. For coffee. Let's see what this looks like. Hmm. Wait, is that coffee? No. I don't know. <laughs> Mysterious bitter flavour. Um I think it's no bad or anything like that. It's actually quite nice. Um it's quite bitter. It's quite it does taste a bit like like roasted coffee, a wee bit. Um, yeah, not too bad at all. We have here. What is this? <laughs> Save. What's that? Save the blue ocean. Uh, yeah. Save the blue ocean flavor. <laughs> what is this? Um, like sea salt flavor, or I don't know, like authentic rust from a shipwreck, or something. Uh, yeah, let's hope no. I didn't know what that is in the background. It's like a really zoomed in picture of somebody's kneecap or something. It's uh, save the blue ocean. What is this? Is it blue? Nope, it's anything but blue. It's white. 
Whew, I don't know, I'm a bit worried about this land for some weird reason. What is this? Um, oh, what is that? Cookies and cream again! <laughs> no, wait, what is that? I don't know, let me go for another bite. That does taste very suspiciously like that cookies and cream once again. Um, uh. Oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I think that may be a bit of truth to the old sea salt <laughs> flavour I was just in there. Um, yep, yeah, it tastes salty. Like you can actually taste like granules of salt in it. So it's kind of like, you know when you get like salted caramel flavoured stuff? This is like salted white chocolate. It's actually quite nice. It uh, actually goes together well, surprisingly. Um, yeah, kind of salty, salty sea chocolate or something. Down to the final, what, one, two, three, four. What is this? Oh, Halloween! Pumpkin flavoured. No, what is this? Two star accommodation, whatever it is. Uh, that's not really good. And the pumpkin with the green sprout coming out the heat is shouting something at you. Which I don't know what. Uh, purple wrapper. Oh! I was gonna say, it's like, oh, you can barely see in the camera, but it's actually quite purpley looking. But then I just got this aromatic smell drifting towards my nostrils, even though this is quite a bit away from my nose. And it absolutely stinks of something. <laughs> it smells like one of the Glade air fresheners. <laughs> like the, um, I was gonna say, it smells a bit like the Christmas wax candles that you get, you know, you like when about Christmas time and you get that apple spice smell. This smells exactly like it. Um, like it's really, really powerful. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Let's see. Whoa! Holy! <laughs> yep. Oh, that's the strongest one yet. <laughs> it's not quite at that abort territory, but it's getting dangerously close to the line, certainly. Oh god, now my breath is going to smell like a Connell for a week. Right, where we go? Three minutes to go. Break! Something or another. Have a break. Have a samurai helmet silhouette person with his V-sword. No idea what this is. It's pink. Is it strawberry? I don't know. I don't trust anything anymore after eating that last one. Um, oh, I might just flopped it. I probably really should start smelling these before I enter them in the gub, but uh, we've gone too far, boys. We just, uh, just eat it as it is. How's that? Oh. Mmm. 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 More. More. Oh my god, that is so nice. Yep, it is kind of like, I don't know if it's strawberry or cherry or something like that there, but it is super, super nice. Really, really creamy. Similar to the orange one, actually. It's um, kind of got kind of specks of whatever fruit this is through it. So it actually tastes like real fruit, not just like some kind of artificial fruit flavour that you normally get with these things. That is amazing. I'm definitely going to finish the rest of that. Right, two more to go. Um, what do we have here? Black. Could be just that dark chocolate. Just plain dark chocolate, maybe? If it is, I think I've had one of these before. Um, I should have had one in a previous video, I think. And, let's see. Yeah. That's, um, I was getting into just the, the plain territory again. Yeah, just plain dark chocolate. Um, nothing too crazy. And, final one. What do you have? Oh, we have a... Never kind of plain packaging one. Oh, actually, the background um, looks like some kind of old pirate map. Um, yeah, no idea what this could be. What is this? Um, oh, it's better to be like a Karamak kind of type of deal here. No Tokini name. Final Kit Kat. Let's see what this tastes like. If I can snap it off. Um, cookies and cream? <laughs> no. <laughs> um... Really can't taste much. It just tastes like just a white chocolate caramel Kit Kat ish kind of type of thing, maybe. Um, or it could be just plain white chocolate. Um, but either way, good thing it actually ended in a half decent note and not like something absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Alright, that's me. Stomach's in agony. Uh, I'm gonna um, make sure and dispose of those evil <laughs> Kit Kats in a cold dark place never to be seen by human eyes of it again hopefully and the case keeps the decent ones and actually hopefully finish them off at some point but not today because i feel sick and i'm going to go to bed so i feel all, all these kit kats in my belly but yep so that was some japanese kit kats this is mr origami dude and thank you very much for watching and until next time
Chiribai!